So we will continue solve the quadratic equation using the complex square. So this time we focus on talking about if the leading coefficient is not equal to one. So look at this example here. So two x square minus four x minus seven equal to zero. Okay. So I'm gonna follow what I did before. So we left we leave away square term and x term on the right. Uh, left side and constants we remove it right so i'm gonna add 7 here then this becomes then 2x squared minus 4x equal to 7 here but the problem is we have 2x squared if it is 4x squared it is possible to make complete square because of 4x squared means 2x squared or we can also have another method that, you know, like the other question, we just make the leading coefficient equal to 1. Then which way is more familiar and it looks easier? In my opinion, i rather make the leading coefficient equal to 1 instead. Okay? Therefore, I'm going to divide by 2 everything here. Okay, if you do it, then this form becomes x squared minus 2x equal to 7 over 2 like this. Now, looks really familiar because we have discussed those problems from the last video. Okay, so then what should we add the constant value here? Yes, half of this term squared. So negative 2 over 2 becomes negative 1. So negative 1 square means positive 1. So you combine 1 and 1 on the both sides. Okay. If you're factoring out, this becomes x minus 1 square that equal to 9 over 2 here. Okay. Because 7 over 2 plus 2 over 2 becomes 9 over 2. Now, next step, you take square root both sides. And don't forget plus and minus. Then this becomes x minus 1 equal to plus and minus. You can see 3 over root 2. Okay? Now combine 1. Then x equal to 1 plus and minus. Three over root 2. But we usually don't write rational value on the denominator. So just multiply root 2 both and numerator and denominator then x becomes 1 plus and minus 3 root 2 over 2 that will be the answer and the reason i don't go any further because this is a rational term and this is irrational term so we cannot actually combine them so that should be the final answer so let's look at one more problem, which is 3x squared plus 24x equal to 7. So remember what, what we have done. So what did we do before? Yes, we divide by leading coefficient, which is 3 this time. So we divide by 3 every term here. Okay, then this becomes x squared plus 8x equal to 7 over 3. Now we combine half of a square, which is 4 square, 16, right? So 16 and plus 16 here. So if you factor in this out, then it becomes um, x plus 4 square, and you combine this fraction, then 7 over 3 plus 48 over 3 therefore x plus 4 squared equal to 56 over 3 here okay then now i continue here then now we take square root both sides don't forget plus and minus then this become x plus 4 equal to plus and minus square root 56 over 3. Now, subtract 4 on the both sides. 
then x equal to negative 4 and plus and minus root 56 over 3. For like uh, as I told you before, we don't want to write uh, irrational on denominator so that you can multiply root 3 both on numerator and denominator then x equal to negative 4 plus and minus so root 168 over 3 okay so let's figure out whether 168 we can simplify so 168 means we can make uh, 4 times 42 and then 7 times 6 as you see root 4 is 2 therefore x equal to negative 4 plus and minus 2 root 42 over 3. That should be the final answer for this problem.